tutorial for Commodore and Commodore Amiga fans today. So a little while back, maybe a few years back, uh, Chris Edwards, he developed an image for Raspberry Pi computers. And of course, many people thought you could only run this on Raspberry Pi computers. This is Pi Amiga. So it's essentially an Amiga operating system complete with WHD loads. And it was only available for Raspberry Pis. But I'm going to show you today how to get this up and running on Windows PC. I'm using Windows 11. I've got my Pi Amiga 2.0 image ready for this. And what I'm going to do is extract the contents of this using a reader. I'm going to link this in my description. This is Linux Reader. If you go to Products and just go down to Linux Reader for this. And bear in mind, you're also going to need to download WinUAE. And I'll leave a link in my description for that too. So if you just go ahead and download Linux Reader and just go to Get It Free, that's going to download the Linux Reader for you. So as it stands, I've got a Raspberry Pi image just there. This is a dot. IMG and as of today there's actually a 3.0 out but it's a very large file so this one weighs in at around 22 23 gigabyte uh, you'll need to download it and you can find that online and you're going to need to extract it to get the actual image out and once it's extracted as you can see this is going to be around 41 gig so before I continue, can I just ask that you hit notifications so you don't miss upcoming content on Amiga and other retro emulation videos that I do. But let's get into this. So once we've downloaded the Linux reader, you're going to get yourself a .exe file. And this is going to be the install file. So let's just go ahead and install Disk Internals Linux reader. Next, I agree. And wherever you want to install this, I'm going to just leave it to my default programs times 86 install so I'm also going to make you aware that you will need kickstart ROMs to get this up and running like I said you also need WinUAE if you're not sure how to set up WinUAE go and look at my Amiga WinUAE setup tutorial so then come back to this video so once this is set up I'm going to just uncheck a couple of things and I'm going to leave run disk internals Linux reader to checked this is going to open the application up for us Okay, so right now what this is doing is detecting the disks in the system, the hard drives we got. So this is it. This is all the drives which Linux Reader can see. So first thing we need to do, like I say, we also need the image of Pi Amiga. So once you've got this, if we could just go to Drives at the top, and I'm going to go to Man Image. And this is a raw disk image file, so you can leave this one is checked as it's already done. Go to Next. And from here, we need to locate where this Pi Mega image is. As we can see, this is on my desktop. So go to desktop and just double left click on the disk image file, Pi Mega. And it's just going to load this into the Linux reader. And as we can see, we now have several different drives appear on here. Now, the one we need to focus on is Roots, and this is going to be your first one. It says 40.79 gigabyte. I'm going to double left click on this one. Next up, we're going to want to go down to Home, so just double left click on that one, and this will bring you into Pi. If we double left click on this one too. Next up, we're going to go to Pi Amiga folder just here, double left click on that one. Okay, so once we're here, we're going to go to Disks, so double left click Disks. Now, it's going to bring you into this directory. So what we need to do with all six of these folders is highlight all these. And what I'm doing to do this is just holding down a left click button and I'm just dragging so everything is highlighted. So once all six of these folders are highlighted, like I've done, we're just going to go to save at the top here. And then I'm going to leave this as default to save files. I'm going to press next. And just let it do its thing a second, might take you a couple of minutes to do this. Okie doke, so once that process is finished, we're going to need to browse for an output folder where we want these to be extracted to. So in my case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a quick little folder, new folder on my desktop. So right click on my desktop, go to new, go to folder, and I'm going to just simply call this one Amiga, that'll be fine. So once I've created that folder, I'm going to go back to the output folder and I'm going to browse for this folder, which I've just created. So if we go to browse, 
desktop and I'm going to just left click once on Amiga select folder and make sure save directory structure is checked and then we just simply go to next and just be aware before you start this process it will say at the bottom just here under total recoverable files this is going to weigh in at just over 28 gigabytes so make sure wherever you're going to be saving these files to you've got enough space so just be aware of that so once you've done that we're just going to go to next and this will just tell you what it is it's extracting from that Pi Mega image that we downloaded for Raspberry Pi we're going to press next and this part just here is going to take some time as we can see here estimated time it says around 11 to 12 minutes so I'm using a pretty brand new uh, hard drive for this if you're using a older style hard drive then this could take a considerable amount of time to extract so just be aware of that i'm going to let this run and i'm going to do something for 10 minutes 15 minutes okay so once that's finished extracting we'll see then that in our amiga folder we have all these extracted contents from that raspberry pi image as you can see everything is there and this took me around just over 30 minutes to do, as we can see here, elapsed time. So, like I say, be prepared to wait, especially if we're using a older hard drive. It's going to take some time to do this. So, next thing we're going to do is just simply go to finish. So, next thing we're going to want to do is grab ourselves some configuration files from this Pi Amiga Raspberry Pi image. So, let's just go back and we're going to go back to... The root just here just like before and we're going to go back into root just here and we're going to go to home just double left click on these to enter these uh, pi again so double left click to go back into this one we're next going to find the amiberry folder just here so double left click on amiberry and you're next going to see conf which is configuration so double left click on this one so once we're inside here, you're going to find four WinUA configuration files. So we got WinUA configuration file. So we got gameslauncher.uae. We have mega ags.uae. We got a pi mega.uae. And finally, we got a pi mega ss.uae. So I'm going to highlight each one of these and I'm going to press control on my keyboard so we can then highlight the next one using left click and this one and this one so once all four of these are highlighted we're going to go through the same process again it's just a minute ago with uh, the extraction so we're going to go to save save files and i'm going to save this to the same folder where i've put the extraction prior to doing this configuration extraction so i'm going to aim these to go into this amiga folder that i created so Output folder is already set for this new folder I've created on my desktop, so just press next. And this is just going to confirm which files it is we're going to extract from the Raspberry Pi image. Press next. And it's finished, so that's done with literally within half a second. And we got another one to extract from the Raspberry Pi image, so let's go back to the root of Disk Internals Linux Reader, go back into Roots. We're then going to go to home, pi, and then go to pi mega, and hdf, and these two just here is the ones we want. So just highlight both of these and go to save, save files, next, and output folder is going to again go into this Amiga folder I've created on my desktop, so press next, and this is just to tell you that these are the files you want, so next and just give it a few seconds to extract into our Amiga folder. So once this is done, just press finish and we can now close down Linux Reader. So close that down and yes. Next thing I'm going to do is go over to the WinUA website and download a fresh installation file of WinUA. So I'm going to go to installer 64 bit and just let this download. If I open up this WinUA installer and set the installation process, so next, next, and install, and yes again, and finish. So we can close down the web browser, and we now have a fresh new WinUA shortcut on the desktop. So open this up. 
So once we're inside WinUA, we need to link up under configurations, those configuration files that we extracted from the Raspberry Pi image. So to do this, what we're gonna do is go to load from and locate those configuration files from the Raspberry Pi image, which is under desktop, Amiga, and here we go. So we got four of them. So we got games launcher, which I'm gonna select first. I'm gonna press open. And I'm gonna to go to save as, and I'm gonna file name this one, game launcher dot UAE and save. And as we can see, this is now added to the configurations menu. And I'm gonna go for a new one. So load from desktop Amiga. And the next one is gonna be Mega AGS. So double left click on this and save as Mega ags.uae save and load from again back to the amiga folder desktop amiga and pi amiga.uae and we want to save this one as pi amiga.uae and save and the last one is going to be desktop again amiga and finally, Pi Mega SSUAE, save as. Save, and that's all that sorted out for now. Next thing we're gonna to need to do is go to CD and hard drives. Now you're gonna find these have already got paths. So we need to change these because these are heading towards a directory which don't exist. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, we're going to go to System, highlight it, and if I go to Properties, I'm going to go to Select Directory, and I'm going to aim this at where these folders are actually located, which is on my desktop in my Amiga folder. So, Select Directory, and there's my Amiga folder. If I just go to System, and Select Folder, OK. And again, for demos, if I just left click on that to highlight it, properties and select directory, desktop, Amiga, and this one's gonna be demos, select and okay. Games, properties, select directory, desktop, Amiga, and we want our games folder selected, okay. Work, properties, select directory, Amiga work select folder okay and finally audio which is properties select directory Amiga and audio select folder okay now obviously under your ROM tab you're going to need to have a kickstart ROM and you can grab this from Amiga forever which I highly recommend so make sure uh, this is set up for Kickstart ROM 3.1, which was the last Kickstart image that uh, Commodore produced. So what I'm going to do next is just go to, back to configurations and highlight PyMega and I'm going to save. Now let's open this. So if I double left click on PyMega. And there we go, so we just booted in to the Pi Amiga using Windows 11. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. So yeah, you get a nice little greeting. And this is it, so this is a really nice looking Amiga operating system, which was supposed to be designed for Raspberry Pi, but then you get uh, people messing around with things. And we got this running on Windows 11, so let me give you a little tour around this. So, yeah, it's got WHD installed. If I go to iGame, which is the quickest way to get up and running playing your games, I've got lots of games here, so I'm going to just select Cannon Fodder 2, double left click on it, and just before it boots up, before you press start, just remember it's going to ask us to press F10 to quit out of it. So, start. And here we go, cannon fodder, awesome. 
So obviously I'm using my cursor to uh, run this game. So anyway, let's press F10 and that's going to take us back out. Let's try another one, uh, Captain Carnage. Again, it's asking us to press F10 to quit this once we're finished with playing the game. Anyway, you get the picture. So what else have we got on here? We have got a couple of web browsers. We've got NetSurf, which opens up, uh, providing you're connected to the internet, which I assume you are since you're watching this video. So NetSurf. We've also got Firefox, by the looks of it, which takes you to AmniNet. So that's all good. to Amiga amp, we've also got this media player for audio setup, bit of Jimi Hendrix, so random stuff on there uh, by Chris Edwards, who's obviously put all this on there, bit of Pink Floyd's, bit of Queen, there you go, but I better not uh, play any more of this because it will come down as copyright and I don't want YouTube uh, taking this off, so... What else have we got here? We got Directory Opus, which is obviously a very popular um, original Amiga uh, piece of software to mess around with. But those watching this will know what Amiga Opus is. Opus is. We also got iDemo, which is very similar to the iGame, where I just launched a couple of games. So demos is obviously going to be from the demo scene. So let's check this one out. So two unlimited and start and again it's asking f10 to quit so we got a selection of demos in here as well so i'll let you play around with demos and if we go up to the system drive just here which i showed you how to do we got different folders inside here, so we got emulators, and we got a range of emulators here you can run using this Pi Amiga. So, for example, we got Frodo, we got Vice, which are both Commodore 64 emulators. We got some Amstrad, some Atari. So let's open up Vice Plus, see what this does. So, it's just a standard Commodore 64 Vice emulator within Pi Amiga. So let's take a look. We got Time 64 Xe. And I'm presuming, yeah, this is going to open us up into the Commodore 64 emulator. Cool. And we've also got a videos tab here at the bottom. So let's just see what this is. We got a bit of Ramstein here. So double left click on this. And it's going to open up an MP4 of a Ramstein video, which sounds like Do Hast. Yeah, it is. So quit out of that. So there's plenty on here to get you going. There's lots of games, there's music, there's videos. It's a really cool uh, operating system and setup which uh, Chris Edwards put together for us. And yeah, I really like this. And I'm gonna spend some more time with this. So this is it. This is Pi Mega running on Windows 11. It's been a bit of a process to get to this point, but as you can see, this is pretty cool, especially if you're into Commodore Amiga like I am. So just be sure to follow me on social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I've also got a Buy Me A Coffee page, which I'm doing commissions on. So if there's any bits and pieces I don't cover, and you want to learn from then just go over to buy me a coffee links in my description for that one too so until next time stay retro